Hey everyone, so welcome to Ethereal Moods, my YouTube channel. So today I want to walk you through a watercolor portrait study that I recently did to practice rendering dark skin tones. So this portrait study is fairly small, it's only 3 inches by 3 inches. Um, and I used Archie's hot pressed watercolor paper, uh, which is by far my favorite paper to paint this study. Um, so as always, I begin by lightly drawing the portrait's outline with a 2H pencil. When I do a watercolor painting, I usually like to work out the drawing first in my sketchbook or on a different sheet of paper uh, before transferring it to my watercolor paper. I just find that this way I avoid damaging the paper by erasing too much and I get uh, a cleaner line drawing on my watercolor paper. So I begin by applying a uniform layer of a mix of Moon Glow by Daniel Smith and also Raw Umber and that can be any brand. It's a pretty common uh, pigment so any brand would do, I think. Um, I really like Moon Glow as a, as a pigment because it's highly granulated and it has tinges of green and purple in it. And uh, it, there's only Daniel Smith that makes this uh, kind of paint. And I find that it really adds depth and like subtlety to the shadow areas of the face. Then using the same mix, I slowly layered washes over washes to build a form. Um, my brush is wet, but not dripping wet. And so my paper is damp, but it's not so damp that the water flows everywhere. I can still control um, the paint pretty well. So once there's colors everywhere, uh, I like to apply my dark as dark. So usually uh, that, that'll be around the eyes and the nostril of the nose, also the, the line of the mouth. Um, so that helps me uh, build darker mid-tones as I go. And um, as you can see, I just adjust uh, back and forth my, my darks and build my mid-tone. And then I always find out that I have to make my dark even darker. So it's sort of a dance of um, middle tone and dark tone while still trying to keep the lightest area very light. One of the last thing I did with this study was to add a few touches of burnt umber to some areas of the face. Um, I found that uh, the, the picture was a little dull, the colors were a little bit dull once I was done applying the raw umber and moon glow wash. So the warmth of the burnt umber really gave um, just a nice pop and a nice three-dimensional quality to the study. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this video enjoyable and also useful. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you would like more videos like this one. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and I'll put a link in the video description. Thanks and bye bye.